mornings, um, lesson 10, day 3, so get out your workbook. We're going to start with, you guessed it, a phonological awareness warm-up activity. Today we're going to practice <coughs> phoneme substitution. Let's review the instructions. I'll say a word and you repeat it. Next, I'll tell you a sound to substitute or change in the word. Then, tell me the new word. Ready? Say bloom. Change ba to ga word. Gloom. Say brief. Change ba to ga word. Grief. Say crown. Change ka to fa word. Frown. Say crook. Change ka to ba word. Brook. Say flax. Change fa to s word. Slacks. Say crop. Change ka to pa word. Prop. Say slop. Change sa to pa word. Plop. Say thread. Change the to da word. Dread. Say cream. Change ka to da word. Dream. Say sled. Change sa to ba word. Bled. Say sleigh, change sa to pa word. Play, say crime, change ka to pa word. Prime, say crouch, change ka to ga word. Grouch, say flash, change fa to ka word clash say slick change to ka word click say glaze change ga to ba word blaze Today we're reviewing how to read and spell words with the AI, AY, OI, OY, AU, and AW vowel team patterns. The letters Y and W become part of a vowel team when they team up with vowels A or O. Words with the vowel team pattern have repeat with me, two or more letters, side by side, that are pronounced as one vowel sound. Show me the gesture and say the syllable type. Vowel team. Let's look at today's six vowel team pronunciations and their keywords. As I show you each one, say the keyword and then say the vowel sound while showing the gesture. So our keyword image that would be like this male so your vowel would be your keyword is male your sound and your vowel team gesture male a yeah mm -hmm. so this one is a like in hay a and your vowel team gesture so a a, they're both A, even though they, they spell differently. Your next one is OI, like in oil, and your vowel team gesture. Then we have OI, like in boy. And look, that's also the same. They're pronounced the same, but spelled differently. Your next one is Aw, like in sauce. 
and all like in straw. Now it's very important because basically you're doing three sounds. A, oi, ah. So even though you're learning six spellings, you're doing three sounds. Let's practice identifying words that fit the pattern and words that do not. Watch what I do. The first word is wait. First, I point to the vowel or vowels and identify the syllable type. So, those are our vowels. Syllable type is vowel team. I see two vowel letters side by side, A and I, and that's how I know it's a vowel team. I whisper vowel team while making the syllable gesture underneath. I place the word wait under the A column. And since it's spelled the same, I'm going to put it under the AI. Now it's your turn. Turn to page 83 in your student workbook and let's review the steps. Look at the word to decide if it follows the vowel team syllable pattern. And then whisper the vowel team type and show the gesture. Whisper the vowel sound. Write the word under the correct column and whisper read the word. First word, joy. Second word, grain. Number three, pause. The dog has big paws. Number four, grape. Grape. Number five, join. Number six, gray. Number seven, pause. I'm going to pause the game so I can go get something to drink. Number eight, paste. Number nine, laud. And number ten, law. All right, why don't you pause here if you need a minute to catch up. You may notice that when you spell it with an A-I, the A sound is in the middle of the word. When you hear A at the end of the word, then it's spelled A-Y. Oi in the middle of a word is spelled O-I. Oi at the end of the word is spelled O-Y. 
aw in the middle is a u, aw at the end is a w. Today we are going to learn a new routine, routine for reading multiple syllable words. Watch what I do. Um, it said to display tiptoe, but they didn't display tiptoe. So tiptoe is spelled T-I-P-T-O-E. We're going to find the vowels. I use both hands to find the vowels in each syllable. I point to the letter I with my left pointer finger and so there's tiptoe. There's the vowel with my left hand and the vowel team with my right hand. There are two vowel sounds on my right and it's OE. Now I underline the vowels. I underline the vowels. The word has two syllables because it has two vowel sounds. Tip, toe. So step three, I draw a line between the syllables. So the line goes between the syllables. There are two, p and t. Okay, it says I look for the number of consonants between the vowel sounds. There's two, p and t, so the p and the t. When there are two consonants between the two vowel sounds, divide the word between them. I draw a line between p and t. Read each syllable. Read the first syllable. Tip. Tip, toe. Syllable type, close. And vowel team on the other one. So there's two. Read the second syllable, toe. So we're not paying attention to the first syllable. We're just doing the second syllable. And the vowel type. Mm -hmm. Vowel team. Let's try the next word together. Raincoat. Use both hands to find the vowels in each syllable. Rain coat. So it shows that Two fingers are underneath the AI with the left hand and beneath the OA with the right hand. Step two, underline the vowels. So there's raincoat. We're going to underline the vowels. So we underline A and I and O and A. So over here it shows you that you're doing the syllable type gesture underneath the vowels. And over here, you're just underlining exactly where you were doing the other, doing the vowel gesture. Raincoat. How many consonants between the vowel sounds? Let's see. One, two. So we're going to draw a line between those two consonants. Now we're going to read the first syllable. We're going to ignore this one. We're just paying attention to this one. Now, it, now let me catch it up. I was in the right place. Sorry about that. So rain, and we have our hand up because we're ignoring that that other one. We're going to look at the AI. What type of is a so the vowel sound is a, and the syllable is a vowel team. And then you read that, rain. Now let's look at that second syllable. The vowel sound, O, syllable, the vowel type, 
vowel team, and it's coat, so rain coat. Now it's your turn. Turn to page 84 in your student workbook, and here are the steps. Find the vowels and underline them. Mark a V connecting the vowels if the syllable follows the silent E pattern. If there are two consonants between the vowel sounds, draw a line between them. For each syllable, say the syllable type while showing the gesture. Say the vowel sound and read the syllable, and then read the word. Let me check something out here. So go ahead and pause. All right, here you go. This is what it should look like. Trombone, weekday, jigsaw, needless, contest, mailman, reptile. I think we're going to do some suffixes. What do you think? Let's review our two suffixes. Remember, a suffix is a part added to the end of a word. When a suffix is added to a word, it changes the meaning of the word. In this activity, we will review the suffixes full and less. From the table we completed earlier, we will review the suffixes and their meanings to help us with understanding the meaning of each sample word. To begin, let's review the meanings for these suffixes. Full to mean full of or full. So helpful would be full of help. And a sentence to help with that word would be the child was helpful by taking out the trash less without helpless without help the bug was helpless once the frog saw it so now turn to page 84 in your student workbook and you will find words with today's suffixes in the word bank there are sentences with blanks below the word blank bank fill in each blank with the correct word for the sentence. Each word can only be used once. Let's read the words in the word bank and the sentences together before you begin. Foamless, joyful, painless, playful, spotless, thankful. Those of you that have been in my class, you've been working on this through your reader's notebook, so you should be used to doing this. Faith's hands were blank after she washed them. If you need to, on number one, read that and put in each of these words each time you read it. After you find the word, just go ahead and cross out the word that you use because you're only going to use it once. Number two, the blank kitten made me smile number three the little child was blank for the gift <coughs> excuse me number four waiting to say my lines in the play is blank number five my dad uses blank soap to wash our dog number six the sick child had a blank night <coughs> excuse me again So, there's the problem. Not all of the words, so foamless, 
joyful. There's not a sentence for painless. Well, painless can work there, but in the book it says sleepless. Spotless. So number four, it shows waiting to say my lines in the play is stressful. So stressful is not up there. So right there would be stressful. S-T-R-E-S-S-F-U-L. Yes, number two. Yes, number three. Yes, number four. And then number six, the book is showing the sick child had a sleepless night, and sleepless is not up there. S-L-E-E-P-L-E-S-S, -E -E -S -S, sleepless. All right, now it's time to practice with a new passage. This passage tells us about pond life. We are going to look for words that have A-I, A-Y, O-I, O-Y, A-U, and A-W vowel teams and underline them. We are going to look for words. Oh, I already read that part. I don't need to read it again. Let's look at the title of the passage. Which one of those would have the vowel teams that we're looking at? Mm-hmm. The word days has the vowel A-Y side by side. So I make the vowel team gesture and underline it. Help me find more words to underline. Hold up the vowel team gesture when you see another one. Day, joy, pause, may, soil, may, coil, traits. Now it's your turn. Turn to page 79 in your student workbook. Here are the steps. Begin below the black line and continue underlining to the end of the passage. Use your fingers to find the vowels. If you find a word with the AI, AY, OI, OY, AU, or AW vowel team, underline it. I'll give you a few minutes and then we'll check them together. Let's see. Moist jaw. Well, be sure to do days because that's the same if, if it has you continued. But I think yours might be on one page. Vault. Moist. Raise. Launch, stay, noise, noise, may, dawn, bait, pale, hall, jaws, may, bait, coy, day, wait, point, day, Joy. All right, folks, see you tomorrow.